Okay, I just got some questions about powering the uh, 4.0 swap harness that I used and uh, there seemed to be a little confusion about that harness. So I'm going to show you a little bit more just to kind of clear up a little bit about that harness. Okay, those of you that may be more astute watching this video will notice that this is one of the power distribution fuse panels. You'll also notice that this is the bed of my truck. I didn't use one of these because frankly I didn't have the room for it. So what I did do is uh, I found the wiring that went to that excuse the shaky camera that powered the computer and the fuel pump and all that stuff and what I did is I used the fusible links that came in the 86 actually these are actually out of an 88 because I had a problem where one of the fusible links actually broke and caused the truck to die while I was driving it um, this is out of an 88. The 86 had three fusible links that looked like this that bolted to the solenoid right there. This is also not in the original location. Uh, to get the engine running, like to power the computer and everything like that, any of this wiring here that runs into the cab there other than all the stuff that goes to the ignition for this harness and is powered off the ignition switch through those fuses there is no fuse that you need to add there's no fuse that you need to mess with everything is over there on that solenoid and those fusible points you can see sticking up by the air filter so everything should make sense to that extent. I even used the uh, the relays from the 86 and all the wiring for the fuel pump and everything that was on the 86 that was hooked up over on this side which is one of these wires I can't readily find it quickly but one of those pairs of wires actually runs the stock dual fuel pump system and yes you can run you can run the uh, in tank pump that you might get out of a newer Ranger if you're using a Ranger but I didn't want to go through the trouble of replacing the cross member here to do that I still got the original steel tank I had just put this tank in like a year before and I'm looking between my bed and my frame rail if this doesn't make any sense but I had just replaced this tank right before and I couldn't see changing the tank and revamping the entire system just to uh, make it work a little better because the existing system can be controlled buy that 86 wiring harness you just have to do a little bit of splicing to get it to work so hopefully that answers some questions for you goodbye